Hi, I normally run workshops at Folk East. My name is Sally Hurst, uh, and so I'm doing a couple of online for you. Uh, the first one I'm going to show you is about monotype printmaking. If anyone's been to Folkies and done jelly printing with me, that's kind of what it is. You can make your own jelly plate, you can buy a jelly plate, all you really need is a jelly plate and some paints and a roller. You can use all sorts of things, and I'll show you in the video, to mask off your jelly. Oh, you also need lots of paper. So you can use leaves, things you find around the house, anything that's not sharp and things that are quite thin. So you could cut paper, you could use leaves, you could use packaging that are going to give interesting textures on your paper. So let's get started. OK, I'm going to go in with some of the things I found in the house. Um, things you might find lying around. So colour wise, I've got a crimson and Indian yellow. Both transparent colours. Oh, that looks like uh, goodness. There was a nice, there was a nice lolly when I was a kid. Who's going to email me first and tell me which one it was? Uh, so these obviously can't be used as stencils, but they can lift. They're foamy. Okay, so I'm going to put that there. I like what's happening to that one. Uh, this one is going to give me something quite architectural. Oh, 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 quite liking that. I'm not sure they're going to, they don't seem absorbent enough to, to drop anything down. But let's see what we get. Yeah. Yeah, quite liking that. It's going again as if there's a kind of enough on there for a ghost. So I'm going to do a ghost on my um, on my tissue paper one that I masked off. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. It's, it's picked up the tones of the paper. Let's go in again with the same colours. Before I do that, let's see what these guys do uh, you need to make sure you're using things that are, are thin uh, and obviously not sharp so no big twigs let's just spread him out and see what we get I'm going to chop off that bit and again like before I don't know what order I'm going to show you these in, so you might not get it, so I'll do it again. Um, my hand isn't necessarily, it's not even enough to, to, to really get a good thing going around some of these things, especially that flower. It's not going this way. Oh, so the leaves are easier, but now that flower's got some height to it. Okay. So we've got, got something going on in there. But what's going to be really interesting is the ghost with these. So if I pull that off really carefully. And take these off. And again, the same thing applies to feathers. All sorts of things you'll find. What happens is it leaves a texture. So whereas this one has left, has masked the shapes of the leaves and the flower, what's happening here is the leaves and the flowers have picked up some of the paint, but because they have a texture, they've left some paint behind as well. Okay, so what I've got here, you can see that I'll take better photos of these. I've got all the veins 
and the petals. Okay, so if nature's your thing, that could be something to explore. I've got a ghost on there. It's going to go back again. There we go. Still quite a lot of paint on there. All right. I was quite, I was quite um, generous with the paint on purpose because I knew I wanted to leave quite a lot of paint, but you get that. Um, this is lovely where the flower is. Beautiful. Finally, I'm just going to very quickly I'm going to go back in with my gold. And um, let's do a feather there. But again, I'll put that, it's quite nice to have a difference. So, yeah, I'm going to lay that. I'm going to lay that. I'm going to find a tool. There we go. I'll lay that on top. And then go in. Again, because these the feather and that cardboard is quite thick. I'm having to push quite hard. Get in and around everywhere. Okay. Uh, but hopefully you can see where I did the white particularly, we've got that dispersal thing with the paint. If I lift this off and take the feather away. I'm going to go in with this one with the plain paper mask. There, okay. So you can. I can see. I'll do a close-up photo. I can see the um, the the texture of the feather. This is what's left behind by that grid, uh, and the paint has dispersed. I probably wouldn't do much more to that. Still got some here. I'm not sure how much it's going to go. So let's try it on a bit of a mat. Mm. Actually, let's try it on a piece of tissue. This is the carnival strength tissue. I've got two pieces there. I'll take one off. And like I said before, if you're using tissue and if your paint is really wet, put a spare piece on top so that you can rub it without it all coming out onto the back of your hand particularly the nine gram abaca tissue. There's two bits there already. Um, bit too delicate, not enough going on there. And that's okay. I wanted to show you another way of working with stencils. So here I've laid down some Ozo Gold and the Indian Yellow, but I'm kind of being very textural and loose in terms of how I roll it out. I'm also going to go in with my tools and get some interesting shapes going on or lines. And then I'm putting my stencil down again. Remember, this is the one, and this is the wet side. This is the one that I've made out of paper and I'm laying that down on top. I'm going to go back with this large sheet that we started on, but we're going to go down to the other end. Okay, so how different they are. So what's happening here is because this is just a flat colour that I've rolled out, stencil gone, this is um, colours that I'd done something with, okay? So I'd pushed it around and played it and got some textures and then got in with the stencils. So there's, there's two things happening here, one thing happening here, but how very different they are. Equally, if I take this off, there's some interesting things. I'm going to go in with a piece of my matte paper for this one. I'm lining it up. With some different marks 
Uh, okay. So different papers are going to give you very different effects. And where the, where the um, orange is hitting the greens on the map, it's making some different colours. Okay, really like that. Here I've laid down some string and I'm going to go into this circle that I've masked off and just drop it down there. So that's two types of string and a rubber band. Oh, that's going to be nice when I take the stencil off. Still got lots going on here and there's a delicious ghost going to happen there. So I'm going to go in with a, another piece of paper. There. Okay, so I'm getting all those swirly lines where the string was. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm sorry we're not doing this at Folk East. Next year, I have lots of plans for things I want to do with you next year.